Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video today I'm going to talk about some computer vision competitions on Kaggle for beginners. In my previous video I talked about natural language processing competitions on Kaggle which I found were the best ones to learn from and these are the computer vision problems that you might like if you're beginning in computer vision if you're if you have done some theory in computer vision and want to apply that knowledge to some competitions or some, some real world problems. So this is my list of best competition. I hope you like it. So the first competition that we are going to look at today is Amnest. No, sorry, it's not Amnest. Everyone is doing Amnest and uh, it is it is a very simple and easy data set. I, you, you can do a lot of things with Amnest. It's like in my book, I present Amnest as a unsupervised problem. So you can try things like that if you want, but if you want to just do uh, classification or regression kind of problems, then probably you should start, uh, you can, you can start with Amnest and then you should move to some more difficult problems. So this is not a very difficult problem. Rather, it's, it's quite, it's quite easy. It's about, uh, dogs versus cats. So you are given an image of a dog or an image of cat and you have to build a computer vision model, a deep learning model, maybe to distinguish between these two different kinds of images. So it's a very simple binary classification problem. You have, uh, you have a lot of data here and uh, these are nothing but images so dogs are represented by one and cats are represented by zero and you have 25,000 images so quite simple data set maybe you can create a model in Kaggle kernels without even looking at what people have done so that's what you should try to do simple simple competition simple data set to start with and after that we go to Multi-class classification, multi-class classification. So it's flower classification. And why do I include this? It's because there's a lot to learn from this competition. So you have 104 different types of flowers. So these are flower images and uh, you have to classify them into 104 categories. And uh, why this competition? This competition I have included because it has a lot of data. And when you have a lot of data, you might want to use GPUs or you want to use much powerful GPUs and Kaggle gives you GPUs for free for 30 hours a week. So in this competition, you can learn how to use GPUs for classification problems or for image classification problems or any kind of uh, deep learning problem. So you can try to use GPUs with PyTorch. You can try to use GPUs with TensorFlow. Um, the best part of this uh, data set is they have also provided images in uh, TF records format for different sizes. So as you, as you can see, like you have TF records, 192, 192, 224, 224, and so on. So you have different sizes and they're already in TF records. TF records are needed because you, if you want to run on TPUs, it should be in TF records format. And you can also try some PyTorch based models. So if I go to notebooks, I will see there are many good notebooks. I'm, I'm just going to sort by most words. So there can be some uh, hidden gems and you can try to find out. And uh, there, there are many, many good notebooks here. And uh, you, you can try uh, to take a look at those notebooks, how they approach prob uh, this kind of problem when you have to do it on TPUs. One more thing that you're going to learn here is many different types of augmentations. So that's something definitely you should take a look at. So you began began with dogs and cats or amnest kind of problems. And uh, then you try to apply different kinds of augmentations. So you increase your knowledge about that. The next competition that we are going to take a look at is uh, C discounts image classification challenge. So this is also an image classification challenge again. And uh, here I have included this because the data set is huge. You, the size is 58 gigabytes uh, and it's in a very different kind of format. So it's in a B BSON format, binary JSON. So you have to extract the data, which is a binary string. Uh, so, so the picture or the image is a binary string in, in the, this uh, BSON file and you have to create a model based on that. So if you look at the notebooks, um, it's, it's an old competition, so you don't have, uh, it's not very old, but you don't have a lot of uh, notebooks with many words. 
but you can see you have some base lines but uh, here uh, Walter has written a notebook on processing JSON files so you can take a look at that and you can start from there but uh, I would suggest you not to look at um, the models but this is this is just the data munging so you have different images of different sizes and you start from there so you have already extracted the data set maybe you can create a data set out of these images and then uh, do your machine learning or deep learning part of it so so far you have dogs and cats you have flower classification you have uh, C discount image classification challenge all these are different types of image classification problems so multi-class binary classification you also have other data sets like MNIST so that's uh, something you really should start with and now we go to medical images so this is a very fun challenge and uh, it's about pneumonia detection so if, if, if you look at the data sets now the data set is again in a very different format so the data set is DICOM images and you will be working with DICOM images. So now that there's a lot of things that you can do with DICOM images, DICOM images also come with a lot of metadata itself. So you can probably use that metadata too. And uh, most simple way to start with this kind of challenge will be to convert the DICOM images to PNG or JPEG formats. So uh, you have, uh, you can do simple pneumonia or no pneumonia or you can do uh, bounding boxes so we will come to bounding boxes later maybe you can just do pneumonia or not pneumonia in this kind of challenge so where you have the bounding box you have pneumonia if you don't have it it's not there so um so you can just use this target so you just have the image and you have the target and you can build a model to classify whether there is pneumonia or not and you will learn how to process tycom images how to work with medical images how what kind of augmentations do medical images require so all these kind of things you will learn in this competition there's a lot of notebooks that has been shared a lot of good ones so uh, you can also take look look at that and um, get inspired from those notebooks but if you have to start then as always start on your own and then look at the notebooks on seeing how you can improve the results. The next competition that we're going to look at is also rather a simple one. It's about facial key point detection. So with every image, you are given a bunch of uh, uh, values, a bunch of targets. So it's a regression problem. And uh, you have these different, different coordinates uh, for the 15 key points and uh, you have 7,000, approximately 7,000 training images and 1,783 test images. So in this competition, you will learn how to uh, detect key points on facial images. And this is, this is also a very interesting and uh, very nice competition. Let me check if there is some notebook where I can show you some images. Or maybe maybe I cannot show you images uh, here, but like you look at the data. So th this is what the data looks like, um, and uh, you have um, images like this, and that on that you have the key points represented. So I don't I don't think this kernel has the key points. It's more of a training. Oh yeah, it is. It has another image, so it maybe has no. It doesn't have any key points but yeah you get the idea so you have uh, um, you have to build a model you have to build a convolutional neural network or yeah any kind of deep learning model maybe or simple models i don't know you can use keras you can use pytorch you can use TensorFlow, whatever you want to use and yeah so these are some of the images where you have like the detected key points and i'm, I'm not sure if they're coming from the model that this person has trained or these are the original ones, but I see like there's some 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 something wrong. Then maybe uh, it's from the model. So you have you have the facial images and you have different key points, and you have to detect them using building some deep learning model. It's very nice, very interesting challenge. The next competition that we go to is identification of endangered right whales from aerial photographs. So this is this is very interest, interesting pro problem. These are pictures of right whales. These are the kind of whales and uh, you have to identify them. So if there are right whales or not, if I'm correct. So let's look at the data. 
So you're given aerial images and each image contains a single right whale and uh, you have to do a face recognition system for whales. <laughs> so you have to identify the faces of the whales. So um, quite interesting problem. So what is the, like you have the image and you have ID for whales. So different types of whales. So uh, in, in this competition, you will also learn a lot of things. Maybe you can you can create a face recognition system for uh, whales. And uh, so you what, what you can do is you can create a bounding box and extract this part of whales and uh, then, then create your model. Uh, so if you look at notebooks and discussion, this, this is a very interesting, very nice challenge. Um, no notebooks. Okay. Maybe it's because it's, uh, it's uh, quite old, but in discussions, you have a lot of good discussions and, uh, the first place solution is also there, which is quite amazing. And you should definitely take a look at that. Now we move to, uh, so these till now where we have looked at image classification challenge, we have also looked at uh, pneumonia uh, ch detection challenge, which was detection of bounding boxes, but it is also a classification challenge. So we, we can do the classification challenge first and then go to bounding boxes. But anyways, the next challenge that we have is TGS salt identification challenge in this challenge you are given a data set so these are seismic images and uh, your your challenge is to build a, a segmentation model to identify where the deposits are where large salt deposits are so this this is a nice challenge to learn about image segmentation so once you're done with classification and regression kind of problems with uh, computer vision or images you can you can come to this competition to learn about se image segmentation and you see the images are not very large it's not a, a lot of data only 450 60 megabytes of data so a few thousands images uh, not much and you have uh, i hope you have some kernels here so like you can learn about uh, image segmentation using units uh, so I think the units work quite well in this competition and you can, you can learn about it. Uh, and, um, yeah, this is quite good competition. So you have to segment the images. So image segmentation is also always like a very fun problem. And it's also used in medical imaging quite a lot. The next competition to learn about, uh, image segmentation is Carvana image masking challenge. Very fun competition, very nice competition. And here you have like images of car and you have to segment it from the background. So again, an image segmentation problem and you can apply same kind of techniques that you have learned in the previous one. So in, um, uh, in this competition about TGS salt identification challenge. So you can apply the same techniques here. Um, next we come to a challenge, which is a combination of, uh, image segmentation, object detection. So you can, you can use both of, uh, these, uh, in, in, in this challenge, which is the I materialist, um, fashion images challenge. And, uh, this is a recurring challenge that happens every year. So here I'm showing you the 2019 version, but I think there was a 2020 version too. So your challenge is to given a fashion image, you have to segment it in different parts, different um, clothing or different accessories, these kind of things. And it's a, it's a very nice challenge. You're also given bounding boxes. So you can also try to predict the bounding boxes. So I would rather start from predicting the bounding boxes using some models like FRCNN. So here you will learn about, uh, again, about units, RCNNs and uh, all these kind of models for segmentation. And uh, here you don't have two classes, you have many classes. So that's what makes this challenge more interesting. And these are images of people. So um, uh, you the, pro the this is a little bit problematic because there are different poses and different uh, uh, types of images. So, but here you can learn about, again, about segmentation and about object detection. And definitely you should take a look at this problem. It's, it's quite, quite good, quite good to learn about image segmentation, image ob object detection. 
then we have the global v detection combination which is quite recent and uh, here you have to detect the wheat heads so let me see if i have a notebook here where maybe maybe i have a notebook um so maybe i can show you maybe you can learn how to use yolo uh, in this one and even in the previous competition you can learn how to use yolo so this is what you have to do in the end you have to detect these bounding boxes so like fast rcnn based models can be used yolo can be used or any kind of other object detection uh, algorithms can be used so there have been a lot of new ones recently which are quite state of the art and this is what you will learn in this competition about detecting these wheat heads or object detection and when you're done with all these different kinds of uh, competitions what you can do is you can also dive a little bit into gans and everyone is doing it so this is a good competition to start from and here you have to generate doc images um so basically you learn about all about gans different kinds of gans so um th this is my list and i think this is a good list for beginners i have one dog images two flower classification three c discount four pneumonia five facial key points six right whale seven uh, tgs eight carvana nine fashion uh, ten uh, wheat um, head detection and the last one generative dog images for gans and I think this is a good list if you're a beginner and if you want to start from, and you can start in this order. And uh, I hope you like this video. If you do like, do click on the like button and do subscribe and share it with your friends. And I will see you next time in the advanced version of computer vision. And also I'm making a list of tabular data competition and time series competitions. So see you next time. Goodbye.